This video is going to show you how to use the left, mid, and find function to parse text in Microsoft Excel. Let's look at some example data. Imagine I have a list of names and I want to break out the first and last name. So I want to turn it from this into this. Now obviously I don't want to retype at all, so we're going to use a couple of functions, left, mid, and find, in order to make this happen for us automatically. The first thing you need to understand is that Excel really thinks about pieces of text in terms of their position. So for Bo Smith, it really is going to assign a number to each character, whether S, M, I, T, H, comma, space, or B, O. They all get their own number. So when I try to pull out Smith, I'm going to tell Excel I want the first five characters, because that's how many we have in our resulting string. We can use the left function for this. The left function is going to go into cell A1 and grab the first five characters. Now I can use this in my original table, but there's one significant problem. When I copy the function all the way down, you see that other people have got different lengths of last names, and so the function doesn't work properly for them. What I really want is a function that has a different length for each last name. So Garrett should have seven, Smith five, Co two, and Smith Jones 11. What we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the position of the character after the name. So for Garrett here, I've got the first seven characters as G-A-R-R-E-T-T. -T. But then the eighth character in the string is the comma. Now, because the next character is always a comma, I can use that to tell Excel how much I want to take with my left function. So for Smith, I want the first five characters. And for Garrett, I want the first seven. Let's do that as an example. The find function says, what do I want to find, which is the comma, and what cell do I want to find it in, which is A1 or A2. Doing this is going to go into each bit of text and find the comma and return the number eight for Garrett and the number six for Smith. Now I'm going to use the results to actually go in and change my left function. Instead of putting in the hard-coded number, I'm going to instead use the find function. So in this, what you see is I have find in that second position instead of seven, eight, or some sort of number. When it runs, it's going to go into each information in each cell, like A1 or A2, and find the number of position that the comma's at. And then that's going to return the name for me. Now there is one problem with this. I don't actually want it to return the comma at the end of the name. What I really want is just the name. The comma's extra. Now ideally, I would give it 7 for Garrett instead of 8, which is currently happening. So what I'll do is I'll give the find function one small tweak. Instead of putting it in just as is, I'm going to have it go in the left function and then subtract one. So find is going to give me eight, and then subtracting one from it is going to turn into seven. And now I have the first seven characters or the first five characters, which gives me the result I'm looking for. So you'll see in this example, I can have the same function in all my rows, and each one comes out with the last name properly. Let's go ahead and do the first name now. The first name is on the right side, but you'll find actually the mid function is a little bit easier to use here. What I want to do is start at position number 10, which is the N in Nathan. The mid function takes in a bit of text, in this case, A1, starts at position number 10, and then returns up to 99 characters after position 10. So it's not the stopping position, it's how many letters it's going to return off of this. In this example, 99 is plenty of space for what we're trying to do. So on our example, you can see if I plug in 10, it's going to go into each of my pieces of data, grab the 10th character, anything after the 10th character. So this works with Garrett, but it has a similar problem as with the left function, where I need different values for each of these rows. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the position of the comma. Comma tells me where I start. So in this case, I'm going to start in position A1 on position 8. And on A2, I'm going to start in position 6. And that's going to give me comma, space, and the first name. So that's pretty close, but I don't really want the comma and space. What I'm going to do is the same technique I had before. But instead of subtracting 1, I'm going to add 2. So now you can see I want to take it from position number 8, which is the comma, and put it on the N, which is in position number 10. Same thing with Bo Smith, I want to go from position 6 and turn into position 8. So you can see my code is going to run. I have 8 for the first, 
I add two and now it turns it into 10 and now I have the right position to pull back Nathan. I can use the same function in every row and once I run the code, you'll see it properly pulls back all the information of the first name. Hopefully this makes sense as a way to combine the left, the mid, and the find function.